Hi, my name is Chris, and in this video, I'll show you how to assemble a PTH50 hydraulic pump using our new seal kit 44648 Super. To start, we'll go over the items that we're going to reuse from the, uh, the unit pump cylinder, main lift ram bushing, the lift ram, actuating pin and then the release pin, the handle return spring, and the washer. Everything else will be included in the seal kit. To start off, we'll install the plastic spacer, U-cup, and then the bushing above it into the cylinder. So you'll want to just drop the bushing right in place, and it should just fall right into the bore pretty easily. And this part can be kind of tricky. You want to put the U-cup in with the wide side or the groove side, lip side facing down toward the pressure. Always the wide side of the seal down toward the pressure. So what I'm going to do here is, is I'm forcing one end of the seal into the bore and then I'm holding the other side, the lips in place while I work it the other end down into the, into the bore. It can be kind of tricky. Do that double check, make sure everything's straight. Okay. So once you've got your seals in place, you just drop your lift ram support bushing right in place like that. Take your snap ring that secures the bushing in place. Snap ring pliers. And all the staff ring. And then your large wiper seal can then be installed. I like to take a small little bit of oil and lubricate the outside of the seal. Makes it go into place a little easier and it prevents you from, uh, from cutting the seal. You can just push it right into place. Next we'll install our O-ring on our release pin. and place our spring on the end of the release pin, like that. And we'll drop the release pin in place. And as before, lubricating the O-ring a little bit. Make sure the release pin goes up and down. Take our actuating pin while pushing the release pin down, holding it down with a pin punch. Okay, hold some downward pressure on the release pin as you slide in the actuating pin directly above it. Like so. And we can rotate it over. Secure it in place with a small roll pin. Next, we'll install the small wiper, pump piston wiper. That can also just be pushed into place. Now we're ready to flip the unit over and work on the bottom side. You can take your new pump piston and install the snap ring onto the pump piston. Okay. Place your washer 
into the piston. And with the snap ring facing down, slip it into the cylinder. Push it all the way through out the other side. Next, you can take your handle return spring, slap it in there too. Now it's time to install the seals on the on our pump cylinder. So the first thing I like to do is put the backup rings onto the groove, into the grooves, and you always want those on the outside. So the pressure is built up in the center groove. So you want the backup rings facing outside of, the, of that, and the O-rings on the inside. I'm just working my way, working them around. These seals stretch pretty good. They're made of rubber, so they're difficult to damage. After I've got my backup rings in place, then I can take my O-rings and install in right next to them. Second side. Okay, now that I got my O-rings in position, I can install the piston U-cup, and same as the larger ram U-cup, you want that with the grooves facing down toward the pressure. So you, the pressure is built up in this area, so you want the seal wide side facing the pressure. So this is a little trick I learned, what I like to do with this seal, is I'll take my thumb and I'll kind of fold it, or fold this seal by turning the these pliers, fold it like a taco, so it's, I'm folding it as I'm inserting it into the cylinder. And this seal is pretty robust as well. It's very difficult to damage or cut, but I've doled these pliers a little bit as well just to make it a little more forgiving. seals in place on my cylinder. I'll give them a little lubrication, a little bit of oil, just to make sure that we don't cut the seals as we're installing it. Place the cylinder into the bore. And taking your large snap ring pliers, large snap ring, you can force down on the cylinder putting the snap ring in place. Tap around the edges. Okay, now the snap ring's in place, retaining the cylinder into the pump. Now we can work on our valve. First, in the valve, you'll want to drop in your large ball bearing. And I like to seat all my all the ball bearings, so what I'll do is once I put the ball into the into the um, bore, into the valve. I like to give it one light tap with a hammer, and this will customize the seat, the ball seat, to this ball. Just give it one light, nice tap. Next, I'm going to put my tappet in there, balance it right on top of the ball. 
then I'm going to put the small copper washer in that seals the valve. I'm going to center these parts before I install the valve. Make sure they're nice and in line. You want to make sure that you're balancing the tappet on the ball so it's standing straight up. Because it'll, when we thread in our valve ball housing, it'll the tappet will go out right up through the middle of there. Just thread in the valve housing all the way down. Now we'll tighten the valve housing. And what I like to do is I like to snug it up hand tight. Then I'll take my ball housing tool and a three-quarter three quarter wrench. And I'll try to get it about another one-third of a turn. There we go. Now my valve ball housing is tight. Next, drop in your small ball bearing into the valve housing. And the same as the first ball, we're going to seat that into the valve. Seat it. Next, we'll take spring balance on top of that ball. Copper washer. And then the plug that plugs and seals up this section. quarter wrench and give this tighten it in the same manner hand tight and then you probably want to get about one third of a turn past hand tight and then you know it's sealed up nice and tight now we're ready to flip it over and add oil This unit takes about 16 ounces or one pint of oil, but what I like to do is you can add oil, just pouring it in there until the, until the unit is about halfway full without the ram installed. In other words, I like to have the oil level about one inch above the, the main lift ram seal it fits down at the bottom. But again, if you want to measure it, it's about 16 ounces. Looks about right. Now you can take your main lift ram, slide it in place, and with a pin punch, rotate the actuating pin, which will put the unit into release position, allowing you to push down the ram all the way. And that also effectively bleeds the unit partially too, because I just flushed fluid and the air out of the valve and flew it into the valve. So now, essentially, that's the unit is bled pretty well. Take the next small copper washer, oil fill plug, For this tightening the fuel plug, I like to use a uh, square stock screwdriver and then a wrench and just attach it to the edge. Give you a little more leverage to get this thing a little bit tighter than you would with hand, your hands. Like that. And that is it. The unit is rebuilt and ready to install the handle and attach it to the jack. For bleeding tips, handle installation, please see our website.